So this is gonna be how we destroy the world. And it has nothing to do with the building. It's the muffins. It was always gonna be the muffins. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time we finally started playing the game and building our main base. However, not too much was done. We built an extra storage room and we started on our new main spine, but really, we just focused a lot on using the new area actions mod, and we figured it out a little bit. But oh boy, that will change today. So remember to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get going. So how's this episode gonna go, guys? What do you have for me? Iron ore? Uh, we will put that right down there. And you? Ho 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 ho! Good omen today! Purple sluggo boy for the win. Ooh, and speaking of good news, I fixed up our storage room quite a bit here, whereas before they had the conveyor lift going up and down here, making it really hard to enter the bins. Those are now gone, the bins have been spaced out, and the back end has been optimized significantly, so that now we can really move and groove on projects. Speaking of, I think we should get started here, and our main goal today is to actually finish off our steel factory, now that we have alternate recipes. Also, another minor problem is with this miner. <laughs> and that's just because there's only one. We only have one pure iron node compared to the four normal coal nodes. And pretty much I've done the math and we need one more pure iron node to balance our production with the four coal nodes. So before anything, we gotta do a little bit of expansion for iron, of all things. Problem being though, there's not a lot of iron close by, as I'm sure you're starting to notice. So we have the iron at our main base, and then it's like way, way out here. So I'm pretty sure these are a bunch of normal nodes, and then there's some more iron in the rest of the area. But these are the closest. And all things considered, they are relatively close, like things could be worse. It is iron after all, so it should be. Ooh. Also, explorer time, guys. So now we can move and groove super quick, which is good because we're gonna be moving and grooving a lot from now on. Anyway though, we got ourselves our couple iron nodes over here in this beautiful little crater, and there are three normal iron nodes. And 1.5 normal nodes equals one pure node. But here's where things are gonna get a little different with this let's play, because we're never just getting what we need. We're getting everything. Everywhere. And like, I'm not saying we're gonna get every single node in the world, but most of them, you better believe it. Cause with the area actions mod, and the fact that we're doing some processing away from the base, means that we can do some pretty spicy things. Some pretty spicy things. So right here, we have a box with some smelters in it. And I want this to be our template for all the other smelters we do in the rest of the world. So like we'll build some cool structure here and then we'll just copy and paste that around all the other iron nodes all around and after that we just have to figure out how to transport it back to base. Because yeah, if you missed last episode, the area actions mod we have allows us to set boundaries and copy and paste entire buildings. However though, it is a little bit cheaty. Like, you know, there's flying. However, I think a good middle ground is just deleting like bins and bins worth of items back at my main base there, based on the materials we used. So there's like the cables, the iron plates, the concrete of course, and whatever we're using for belts. And that's just so we have to keep up with our production back at base, and we can't just slack off on that. And also this is like my personal opinion, but making like 300 smelters in the same pattern over and over again, does not sound like fun, nor interesting for you guys to watch, so yeah. And also for all of our designs, we're going to future-proof them with the 780 belts in mind and the Mark III miners. So in the future, a normal node will get us up to 600 items per minute with a Mark III fully power sharded miner. And that means per miner, we are going to need 20 smelters. Oh my god, and I'm editing right now, and 
God, we need 26. We need 26 smelters. A 780 line divided by 30, which is the capacity of each smelter, is 26. So we're going to power shard things later on. Don't worry about it, okay? It'll be fine. And now you're starting to understand why I want to copy and paste the design, eh? Because <laughs> this is only three nodes. Guess how many nodes there are on the whole map? Answer is a lot. But anyway, let's get to actually designing things. And I had a pretty cool idea, pretty cool idea. We are going to use fence floors here. And we're going to build them over top of all of the belts. So we can see what's going on underneath here. And then with our circle done, things look cool, right? Right. We're on like this level, we can easily access machines. In fact, I really like this design. I, I want to use this everywhere. Well, obviously, since we're copying and pasting this around the world, we will, but also in like the main base as well. But for now, this is pretty cool, pretty cool. And then we just have to get the items out of here, because we have our input over there. And we can have our output kind of like this. We can have a belt going up and then looping back over. And it can just go right over this way. And probably out like a conveyor wall or something like that. And that's so we have all of our inputs and our outputs on the same side. Oh. Oh, this is lower. Oh, okay. Good thing I noticed this. Okay, we can just do this then. And we're all happy happy. And then on this side, check this out. There's a half floor. Like, isn't that the best? So I was gonna put like walkways down here, but nope. Half floors for the win! Oh, but now I'm kind of realizing now, we can't have all of these going into one area. We're gonna have to delete those for now. And we're gonna have to do some finicky stuff with each floor here. Because we'll copy and paste this wall, right? But then the splitters and the mergers are gonna be a little bit different per floor. Yeah. So we have to think like stackable design. So any one of these ports may be used. And then I suppose we can bring things over to the right here. Okay, so any port can go to the right. Pretty simply, right? <laughs> right. And then from this first splitter, we can go back out a wall up to the next floor where we can have the extra 10 smelters. Easy peasy. So I'll divide the iron ore half and half. So half will go up to the next floor and half will go into this system. And from here it's pretty simple. Just add in one more splitter. And we split her up. So uh, this goes into uh, these five. And do we have enough room to move this over? You better believe it. Oh my gosh, it's already straight as well. No measurements needed. Ooh. And actually, since our output's on the other side and comes back over, ho 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 ho. Oh, I thought I, oh, ho, 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 yes, we are good. For a second there, I thought that this splitter was going to a conveyor wall right underneath this one. And I was like, oh, almost perfect, but no, it is. And that means we have all the outputs on this side, meaning when we copy and paste like this entire building all around, it'll be pretty easy just to go boop, 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 boop with the conveyor lifts. And the next issue to deal with is a power. Which actually really isn't much of an issue. Uh, we can just have the uh, Mark II uh, power poles on each side, power up all of the smelters, and then we can just have one of those more factory through the wall power plug type things just over here. Or behind it. Here, sure, it doesn't really matter. What really is gonna matter is the item outflow. So this. Yeah, this is where things can get a little weird. So we have all the items coming out this way through this conveyor wall, right? But then, what if we add more floors? Because we have to have, I think here, six floors of smelters, right? So, um, yeah, if they're all in the middle, we got a problem. And they have to be in the middle too, due to how our design looks. However, I guess they don't have to be. We could just get rid of that, change out this floor for one of these foundations, so it's at the right height, 
and then just bring that to here. Oh. Oh, and then we have all the room in the world to have this thing move and groove. Oh my goodness, oh, that's great. Okay. So maybe we could just delete that wall or delete any of these walls and figure out the outputs a little later on. So I'll be a little custom part for each building. And that means we're pretty much done with all of like the necessities for this build. The last thing we just need to do is add in something spicy. Because every floor is gonna be stacked up, we wanna add in like a cool repeatable pattern. This should be fine, should being the keyword. So I guess this will have its own little look. This side is just gonna be full of belts going up and down all over the place. The back kind of looks interesting, especially when we stack the design up. And this side's a little plain, but whatever, man. <laughs> Maybe we'll build like a, a personal elevator up and down on that side. So yeah, we'll leave it as is. For now though, I think we are ready to copy and paste. Oops, let's uh, enable flying for this so we can get the measurements right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and there's one last thing actually. We need to switch these platforms out because we can't have that copied and be entering the floor over here. So that just means we just have to add in a floor here and then we start running into more problems because of you. Okay, small design change, no big deal. Okay, cool. Mark one power poles for the win. And you go to there, sure. Oh no, come on, dude, I already know. Oh, what? Oh. It does go over. That doesn't look good though. So our only option then is to do this? Sure. This is like an industrial factory, right? So having the power that close, this is, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, this is supposed to be a dangerous environment. Just don't walk close to like the billion watt thing. Easily none. Probably, hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> We're keeping it like that though. Oh no, we don't have to actually. What we have to do is change this design. We have to have the floor up here. So this is kind of different, really weird, but due to how the area actions mod works, yeah, this is how we have to do things. Because what we do is we select the corners and we need to set a top and a bottom. And the bottom is gonna have to be beneath this floor because if the bottom was beneath this foundation, it might copy this wall and they might stack into each other and we could have some bad times. So yeah, we just have to build the floors up here. Okay, so a little different than what we're used to, but you know, I think it's okay since we have a lot of grays around here. Now I think we are ready to copy and paste though. So, let's enable flying. Uh, again, get the area actions mod moving and grooving. And I'll try and figure this out. So what I did with the main base is I copy and pasted just the floor, which is like <laughs> pretty much the most simple thing you could possibly do. Whereas now things are a little bit more spicy. So hopefully I don't screw things up and destroy the entire world. Okay though, I think that's good. We set the boundaries, we set the top of our copy and the bottom. So now what we want to do is fill. And I think Z goes up, yes. And we want to do this six times. Let's just preview. Okay. I think I may have messed up. So I'm pretty sure I just messed up on my markers there. And instead what we're going to do is we're just going to put down these foundations for the corners. So it's easy to copy and paste. Okay, there we go. Let's get uh, flying enabled again. Copy this again. Yeah, so I think that's gonna copy over all these other foundations as well. But if we just copy it once, like, higher up, we can delete those foundations and have the pattern to copy forever. So please, just work. Fill. We're only gonna do it, like, one extra copy. I think we got it? Except for there are no walls this time. I think what we can just simply do is make the corners of the box, like the copy box, just further out. Then we won't have this problem. There we go. And let's try it one more time. Please just work. Two. Preview. Okay, it's looking promising. Let's see it from the top though. Let's see. Two. Preview. Oh my gosh, I think we did it. 
I think we did it. And use build cost, what does that mean? Wait, fill to location? Or no, no, now we press okay. Filled with 128 buildings. Did that take anything from our inventory? No. So I guess now we just examine what happened. So none of the wires got copied. The belts didn't get copied. Oh, but also, the foundations I didn't want to copy didn't get copied either. Oh, look at that, look at that. So this is like exactly what we want then, right? Or I guess the best it's gonna be. So let's just do it again and fill in the rest of the floors. So now we want to fill this up five more times? No, four more times, yes? Preview. Okay, and I have to get a little further back for this. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have to go five up then. Because we need six layers to get our 60 smelters. So preview that. And I think we're good. Yeah. 632 buildings. Oof. Okay. But that is a lot quicker than building this all by hand, let me tell ya. And now all we have to do is the power lines and the belts and a way for us to get up and down. Because we're pretty much done with the area actions mod for today. So disable flying, boop, boop, and goodbye. Now we simply glue the pieces together and then add in a little bit of spicy detail. And this project's done, baby. Oh man, oh man. Well, that took a lot longer than expected. Couple more belts than expected as well. But this is done. 60 smelters all set up and ready to go. And I'm really happy I didn't go too crazy with the wall designs, because this is enough. Like, all of these, like, conveyor lifts make it look fantastic. And the front of it actually looks pretty good too. I added in a personal elevator, and it works well, but it looks even better. And by looks even better, it looks pretty meh. At least from the bottom. If you have like a nice view of it from like, that's looking mainly from back here, it really gives the building a little bit more depth, you know? It's not just a square with a couple details. It's a square with a bulge on one side. <laughs> Only thing left to do now though is power this bad boy on. I already brought a power line a while ago over to this area, so we can just do that real nice and quick. Boom. Let's get rocking and rolling. Oh, and I guess I didn't want to use the area actions mod anymore today, but come on. We gotta have our victory view of our production here. Okay. So this is gonna be how much? Three, six, nine hundred iron ingots per minute out of this. And in the future, this building will be producing 2,340 iron ingots per minute. Just from this one building. And we can copy and paste it all around the world now. Essentially, anyway. Oh yeah, and super quick design-wise, I did some interesting things. So I'll just show one line as an example. So this middle line, it goes up. Or how about the far line? Far line goes up, scoots over, goes up, and enters the system here. And as I showed before, it splits off, so half of it will go up to the next floor, but then it's really the outputs that get spicy. So now the outputs from the first floor will be exiting through here, go up to the next floor, remerge with the bottom floor, so all 20 smelters outputs go into one line and go out the window. Back down to right there. Except for the fact there is nothing here. Factory. Why you no work? What is big problem? Why you all stop? Oh goodness, what, what did I do? Oh, what, the power's not on? But why? Oh wait, no, of course it actually isn't. Accidentally deleted one of them. There we go, now everything's moving and grooving. Whoa, that's cool looking too. Like, man, having these all over the world, these kind of look like skyscrapers. We're gonna have like, yeah, a city. The world is gonna become like a giant city with our main base towering over it all. Ho <laughs> ho, that's gonna be cool. Ooh, very cool indeed. And we're rocking and rolling too down here. Yes, we did it. Oh wait, no, no we didn't. I forgot, we have to bring it back to base. No! Now you see in a perfect world, 
We'd actually just put this onto a train and call it a day, but uh, we're not living in that perfect world yet. And now we have to build even more infrastructure. Oh boy, oh boy. But actually it's not too bad because the thing is with building infrastructure, once it's done, it only pays dividends, baby. And this desert isn't too complicated. Like, I'm pretty sure I can just have a bridge going swoop right down this way. Just have to measure off of our main platform. And at the end of the day, we will be fine. Fine and dandy. There we go, just gotta keep up. And now we just build a new highway off from this. At some point, maybe here? Sure, we have a couple mountains to go over, that's the only worry. But then, future lines, we can just stack them on top of this bridge. Kind of like what we did with our storage area. Like that bridge exactly, I love the look of that. So let's just quickly copy it. Ah, now isn't that beautiful? One of the best things to see, honestly. Just a massive piece of infrastructure, completely obliterating the landscape, so we can transport all the stuff we want back to base. And the stuff we can collect with this? Insane. Not to mention all of the iron ingots we got now, but there's like a limestone node there, more limestone, some copper, and I'm sure we'll find a variety of other things to use this for. Maybe trains, perhaps? Hmm, maybe. We'll see. For now though, I'm just happy to have all this iron back to base. We can do so much more now. And upgrading our steel factory will only be the beginning. However though, I don't think we're gonna get to finishing off this project today. There's something else we have to do instead. And you guys have been asking for it in the comments for a long time as well. And that is updating some of my mods. Specifically, the more factory mod. So we're gonna try that out really quick. And man, I really wish I didn't. I looked into the void and the void looked back at me. But we'll deal with that stuff next time. Because I think that's gonna be all for today, so I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching. But have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs>